What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, another buyer's guide for you. Today we're talking everything drop shot fishing. Drop shotting is a, it's an enormous category and uh, we know that this time of the year you guys are looking for the right product to get, get all your stuff piled up, stacked up, get all of your gear for the entire year. So we wanted to go through and do this, kind of simplify uh, drop shot fishing as much as possible. That way you guys are throwing the right worms, the right hooks, the right rods, all that stuff. But again, it's an enormous category. So today's video, we're gonna kind of simplify it for you. Uh, I got the worms broken down into four categories. Now, depending on the type of fishery you have, type of bait fish you have, different sets of these baits will work better in your fishery. So we're gonna cover some baits, cover some key things about hooks, different styles of hooks, weights, and then we'll finish it off up with, uh, with rods and reels. But again, drop shot fishing, it's, an, it's like jig fishing. You know, hundreds of worms on the, on the pegs at the tackle shop, so many different worms on the market. So um, hopefully this will simplify it for you and uh, you guys can get all loaded up for the rest of the season. So this is my drop shot box. These are all the different styles of hooks, all the different styles of weights. Uh, and I'm here to tell you that you don't need all of it right now, right? So we're gonna talk about just a, a few key hooks, some, uh, some key weights, and, uh, and really, like I said, try and simplify it for you. So um, don't, don't go off my drop shot books, uh, box because that is uh, it's going against what I'm teaching you right now. But let's start off with worms. I went ahead and broke down worms into four categories. Paddle tail, so not swim bait, but paddle tail, shad shape, finesse swim baits with the kicker tail, and then straight tail worms. So let's go right through the order. I'll tell you why and why they're my favorite. Let's kick it off. First worm I wanna talk about is gonna be the Smalley Smasher by Big Bite Baits. Now, what I mean by a paddle tail, you know, paddle tail swim bait actually has that kicker tail. This is just gonna be a flat tail. See that? Kind of have a ribbed body, kind of like that bulbous tail on it, but the entire belly, the bottom section is flat. Now where these baits shine is a clear, finessey water. You know, this tail's not gonna be back there kicking like a swim bait, it's just gonna be back there just kind of waving in the current. Now these, these baits, you can get real aggressive with your shakes, but you don't have to. You want that, that let that water do all the work for you. Um, light line, light hooks, that's where I use these guys right here. That Smalley Smasher, again, has that ribbed body, that kind of bulbous tail. It just is that real natural presentation in the water. All these products, you guys, if you can't see them very well, I will link uh, them all down below in the video description and you guys can look at the HD pictures and everything. I'll link my favorite colors and all that stuff in order. But the Smalley Smasher is probably my top two uh, drop shot baits if I'm fishing clear water with an exposed hook. We're gonna get the hooks in, in just a second, but that guy right there is money. The next bait in this category is gonna be this guy right here. That is the Crush, uh, Junior Crush. Comes in a few different sizes. Show you this guy. These guys, these guys smell really, really bad, but they work really, really well. A uh, very soft bait, you can see how flimsy it is. Again, a lot of guys with a drop shot overwork their bait. They're down there shaking that tip, giving that, that bait tons of action. What's cool about these baits in these categories, the reason I picked them for you, you don't have to give them a lot of action and they look very natural down there. Again, flat bottom, a little bit of bulbous tail. And again, these things are just down there waving. You know, they're not down there thumping, right? They're not kicking like a swim bait. They're just kind of moving around in the water and uh, the thing with the drop shot, you're suspending this bait in front of that fish's face. So as we're you know, in, entering these winter months, these cold water months, those fish are gonna slow down. You don't want a bait necessarily down there just kicking like a, a, a rabbit down there thumping, right? You want it just looking really slow and, uh, and matching kind of the bait fish that are down there that you're trying to mimic. So that guy right there, again, very soft, uh, just a fish catching bait. Woo, getting windy even with the wireless mic. So that guy right there. So that is 
probably my top two favorite baits in that category. If I'm going uh, Highland Reservoir fishing where I'm fishing for spotted bass or deep clear water smallmouth, hands down those are going to be the baits that I go for. Now, next bait is going to be my shad shaped worms. Again, trying to simplify this for you guys. These are, these are tried and true. Matt and I have a ton of confidence in these baits. Lots of fish catches. Uh, this guy right here is the Super Fluke Junior. It's just a real bait fishy profile. See how it's got that fork tail right there? Again, you're gonna drop this down there. Say you're fishing a Highland Reservoir. These offshore spotted bass have a big ball of uh, bait balled up. Drop this thing down there. Try and block this mic, <laughs> it's ripping. Uh, you probably see by the plants behind me, but drop this down there. And this is just looking like a dumb, stupid bait fish that doesn't know what's going on. Uh, the, the two baits in this category, that, uh, that fluke, and then this Damiki Armor Shad. Now this comes in two styles. It comes with the fork tail, like this guy, or the paddle tail. I'm actually talking about the fork tail. See these two baits right here side by side. Just real bait fishy looking drop shots. You know, most guys when they think drop shot, they think of your traditional, just a six inch straight tail worm. But I'm here to tell you that using these types of baits not only work on spots and small mouth, but they work on big large mouth too. But again, those shad shaped worms, that fork tail, uh, the Damiki Armor Shad is a little more dense of a bait. So depending on your water temperature and uh, how active those bait fish are, you know, pick, pick between the two. You can see this one's a lot softer, a lot more action. Uh, this really, really shines in cold water. You know, this is the bait, you guys ever heard of the Damiki rig? That's this bait right here on a different head, but that also works really, really well on a drop shot. Two categories down, let's talk about finesse swim baits. You know, it's taken us a long time to understand that fish don't necessarily have to have a six inch straight tail worm, right? You put a little paddle tail swim bait, like this guy right there, on a, this is actually a number one owner mosquito light hook. Sorry about the wind, guys. Uh, that is a very, very finessey presentation, but what is cool about the swim bait, having that paddle tail, when you fire this bait out there and you click your bail shut, this bait's gonna swim down. As that, as that weight is falling, that tail on that swim bait's back there just kicking and it's actually swimming down. You are drop shotting a swim bait. Once it hits bottom, you're fishing the area where you're gonna fish, lift it up, let it fall, it's gonna come up, swim down, come up, swim down. Every movement towards you, that tail's kicking and it looks like your traditional 2.8 swim bait. So this is actually the, this is the Kitec, the, the uh, Easy Shiner 3 inch. Grab one of these out for you. This, <laughs> just windy. That is a phenomenal drop shot bait. It doesn't matter if you're on big large mouth eating bait or big small mouth chasing you know, bait or, or spotted bass. You don't have to throw a big worm, especially this time of the year to catch big fish. So having that little swim bait tail on there is just an added benefit if you're trying to mimic a swimming bait fish. Another great one, one of my favorites is gonna be this guy right here. This is the Hazdong, Hazdong, however you wanna pronounce it, from Mega Bass. Now this is a small mouth killer. All you Great Lakes fishermen, you guys know the damage this thing does, but uh, those are my two favorite swim bait drop shots. I feel like I'm gonna get blown away trying to wrap this thing up before it, uh, I end up in a different county. Um, you know, getting back to these guys right here, you guys have heard about the Berkeley flatworm. You know, that is an amazing bait if you can get them. Uh, but that same thing, that paddle tail, really, really great as that water cools down. Um, that is probably my number one smallmouth uh, uh, drop shot bait. But if you need to, slow down, go with that little forky shad shaped bait, just that mimic that bait fish. And if you want to add a little extra kick, go with that swim bait. Now, again, I talked about a little bit, as these temps get lower, turn sideways, uh, as these, these water temps get lower, the overnight lows get lower, those fish slow down, be cognizant of how much you're actually working that worm. Take that rod tip of your drop shot rod, put it in the water, and you'll see the ripples, you'll see how much you're shaking it, and it'll make you think about, oh, I need to slow down. 
just kind of drag and lift. That's where these baits really shine, the paddle tails. You just lift them up, let them fall, and they're just kind of, they're not kicking like a swim bait, but they're just kind of like a wave down there. They're just real natural, working really slow. Um, I mean, you can get real aggressive in warm, warm water, but you don't need to right now. Last category is going to be the straight tail worm. Now, hands down, my favorite straight tail worm is going to be the Robo Worm 6 inch straight. You know, the specific color is going to be that Margarita Mutilator. Again, I'll link all my favorite colors down below in the video description. But, uh, you know, growing up, this, this was a staple in my arsenal. It's what I threw everywhere I went. And I mean, they make great, great colors. There's so many colors. Uh, they come in four and a half inches. Well, if you don't want to necessarily throw a six inch worm, but where this has really shined for me as of late is Texas rigging it. Taking a, a cover shot worm and actually Texas rigging this thing and fishing it around grass lines. So you can throw a drop shot on a bait caster, a little 610 medium. I mean, you can throw straight buried and power shot like you're punching, but that's not this video. We'll talk about that in a different video. Uh, but actually Texas rigging a six inch straight tail worm is really, really good, especially this time of the year as the water's dropping down, it's revealing those grass lines, those fish are up in that grass. You know, flipping a little drop shot in there can be lights out. This can be really good, you know, wacky rigged drop shot or just on that owner uh, mosquito light hook as well. But that guy right there is money on that cover shot. Two of my favorite colors, I told you that Margarita Mutilator 3 and this guy right here, this is the uh, Pro Green Pumpkin. Really cool color. It's just, um, you don't need all the, <laughs> I say that, but I probably have like 50 colors in my bag, but really five or six really key colors. But that one right there, that pro green pumpkin, really cool green pumpkin, iridescent worm. So we talked about, I gave you, what, eight baits, two in each category. Those are staples in those categories. It's totally up to you to decide which style of bait, which category you need to be fishing. Totally depends on your fishery, the bait fish, the size, all that good stuff, water temp. Now let's talk about hooks. Believe it or not, hooks are important when you're talking about drop shotting. You know, are you throwing a light finesse nose hook bait or are you throwing a Texas, room, uh, Texas rigged straight tail worm? Uh, the reason this comes into play Lots of different companies have hooks on the market, and, and more importantly, there are a lot of different wire uh, sizes of hooks on the market. You guys probably won't be able to see that, but this is a Mosquito Light size one. This is a VMC size one. But if you look at it, the wire, I mean, this, this hook is so much thicker than this little Mosquito Light. Now, this is gonna be really good if I'm fishing big, large mouth. I wanna throw an exposed hook, say out here on Chickamauga, this is gonna be the staple if I'm finesse fishing for smallmouth, spotted bass, highland reservoirs, clear water, four, five, six pound test, that sort of thing. What I'm getting to, you gotta be careful about picking this, the wire of your hook. You don't want your hook to overpower the swim bait you're throwing. Now, if I am throwing this little swim bait, <laughs> swim bait, bait, if I'm throwing this little bait on a big hook, it's always gonna be sitting funky in the water. Now, especially this time of the year, those fish, you're soaking that bait, those fish have a lot of time to sit there and just examine your bait. You want everything to look as natural as possible. So you want your, your bait on there straight. You want your hook tied perfect. You want that hook sitting perpendicular to your line. You don't want it sagging or being upside down or flipped over. Uh, you want everything looking good. That is probably the, my biggest thing with finesse fishing is making sure you're doing it right. You know, anybody can just go tie a palaver knot and not pay attention and hook your bait on and half the time your bait's upside down in the water. You can't do that, especially this time of the year when they're down there examining your bait. So pay attention with your hook size. Probably nine times out of 10 when I'm going with a, a, Texas, or a, a nose hook rig like that, I'm going with that Owner Mosquito Light size one. I'll link everything down below in the video description. Let's talk about the straight tail cover shot. That is gonna be a two-aught. So if I'm fishing in and around docks, brush, grass lines, 
100% of the time, I'm going with this guy right here. I won't be hung up. It allows me to fish that bait, suspend it in that grass, give those fish something they haven't seen when you're flipping a jig or a punch rig or, or something like that, a light Texas rig. This is gonna suspend that bait up in the water column and uh, it works really, really well in the grass. So that is that, uh, that cover shot, a two-aught works great on that six-inch robo worm. Covered hooks, last but not least, before we talk rods and reels real quick, is gonna be weights. Now, weights come in lead, tungsten. They also come in two different line ties. Some kind of have that wedge style bait where you just, or wedge style head where you run your line through, just kind of clamp it on. The more and more time I spend chasing uh, big smallmouth, Great Lakes smallmouth, I went to the line tie. This actually has a little swivel on top and you literally tie it on. So when those fish come up, head shake, cartwheel, whatever they're doing, they're going crazy, ballistic, it sucks every fish you catch and you just see your, see your, your tungsten weight go flying. Now, if you're a drop shot fisherman and you're on a budget, go with lead. Lead's uh, extremely inexpensive compared to tungsten. Uh, if you can, you will get more sensitivity out of the tungsten. So if you're on a budget, go lead because it's just very, uh, very inexpensive and you can get bulk packs. The thing with the tungsten, just like other heads, it's more dense and it transfers more of those that, uh, feeling through the bait into your hand. So uh, if you can get away with tungsten, try the tungsten. Whew, windy. All right. I'm getting through it. Try, and, and guys, we've done in-depth uh, you know, videos on all this stuff, but uh, trying to keep it really simple for you guys so you guys can get your entire setup right now and uh, be set for the rest of the year and on the next year. Um, hands down, let's talk rods. Hands down, my favorite rod, NRX 822 drop shot rod. It is the lightest. Uh, arguably the most sensitive drop shot rod on the market. That is hands down my day in and day out open water finesse drop shot setup. Uh, reason I say open water, if I'm going with a Texas rigged worm, I'm gonna go probably a bait caster or a little more of a stout of a rod um, to really get that hook set and get that, that hook through the worm and into that fish's mouth. But uh, top of the line, best of the best for me is that 822 drop shot rod. It's a six foot 10 rod. It's got a crisp tip on it, but it's soft enough to, to see when you're dragging that, uh, you know, that, <laughs> that paddle tail worm, you're kind of lifting up and dropping it. You lift up, it just feels heavy, kind of has that wet rag feel. You reel down and set. Um, phenomenal rod. If you guys, I mean, it's, it's expensive, but on my, you guys know me, if you don't, Finesse fishing, I go try and go top of the line for my sensitivity baits, my bottom contact baits. Um, I try and, and get the most sensitive uh, rods I can. Another great rod, about half the price, maybe even less than that, is this guy right here. Uh, this is a Zodius. This is actually a six foot nine medium light. Again, real soft tip. Uh, get to the backbone fairly, fairly quickly. Uh, this is a great rod uh, in that middle price point range. Uh, paired up with that Vanford, this is a sweet combo. Now, I grabbed this off here. You guys always ask me this in, in most of the drop shot videos. This is the, uh, I'll link it down below in the video description, but it's the Cal Coast, I think it's the Cali Clip. It's really nice because you just wedge your line in there and let go and it holds your drop shot weight. A lot of these rods these days don't come with hook keepers anymore. Uh, the Zodius does, but that's nice because you can just unhook and you're ready to go. On the other side, it's got a little little hole for your uh, Texas rig baits, your flipping baits, whatever. Um, works on any different rod that you can put it on. Two other rods I want to talk to you about real quickly. Uh, one's going to be a BFS rod, that Dobbin Sierra. We talked about that in our BFS uh, video. That is a great bait casting, bait casting. Um, BFS combo. It's a zero power rod. You can real, use real light hooks. That thing is a lot of fun. And then especially uh, budget guys. Uh, we talked about it in our budget video, rod and reel combos, but that Bass X right in at around $100 uh, is a great rod 
for drop shotting. You know, if you're coming in with a, a budget price point, typically your medium, medium light uh, spinning rods will work good for most of your light finesse fishing. So uh, if you have a rod like that, that'll work great. If you wanna get a technique specific rod, these rods are awesome. And then that Bass X, like I said, I'll link those down below in the video description. But uh, there it is guys, that is uh, the drop shot buyer's guide. Just wanted to give you guys a handful of key baits. Again, I'll link those all down below in the video description with colors and everything. Make sure you guys get, get loaded up, stocked up on your hooks and weights. You know, we all know how inventory has been lately, so it's like you gotta buy it when it's here. So if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. I'll try to get those as soon as possible before Christmas to make sure you guys get the right stuff. But uh, there it is guys, Drop Shot Buyer's Guide, everything you need to be successful uh, this time of the year and through uh, next year. Hit that like button if you guys learned something. Remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video guys. Have a good one.